The ladies and gentlemen, Kamala Harris and her campaign have seemingly made a huge mistake. It's really, you would kind of figure an unforced mistake, but maybe it is just pure desperation based off of the recent polls. Now, this has been kind of a thing going on over the past week. I think Trump visited Arlington National Cemetery on Monday. You can see Kamala Harris coming out yesterday and saying, as vice president, I've had the privilege of visiting the cemetery several times, talking about it being a place where you can come together and honor heroes, saying it's not a place for politics. So again, this has been something that's been kind of drug up where the liberals first came at it and then Trump said, no, I mean, they wanted me there. The families wanted me there to honor. And, and so that's why I was there. And now she's saying it again. So it's, it's like she's rehashing something after it was already such a horrible look because they reportedly also invited her. She didn't show up at all. And now you've got uh, Kamala saying, or I guess her campaign, because this is their strategy, right? It's not her, but, uh, and, and yet, as it was reported this week, Donald Trump's team chose to film a video there resulting in an altercation with the staff. Let me be clear, the former president disrespected the sacred ground all for a political stunt. That's what she says. And then, of course, there's video of her at the cemetery years ago with Biden using it as a political stunt herself. They're total hypocrites, of course. Uh, but that, that's basically what she says, as you can see, all this other stuff. And then Donald Trump comes out and just ratios this to death. Gold Star Family releases uh, response to Harris's political grandstanding about Trump going to Arlington National Cemetery, asked why Kamala Harris won't even return her call. So it wasn't just Trump that they asked. Number one, they asked Trump to be there. It wasn't like Trump just said, oh, I'm going to go here and get this photo op that looked like, like the Harris campaign is making it out to seem like. Trump was asked to be there, and of course, he's the president. He's there. There's going to be photos of him. I mean, anytime you go out in public, you're the president. That's what happens. There was photos of Biden and Kamala at the same exact cemetery years ago. This is pure desperation, and it's really, again, it's just unforced. Why do this? This is a horrible look for Harris to where they reached out to Harris and Biden. They didn't even get a return phone call, and then you've got that idiot corpse Biden who... I don't, you know, I'm going to go to that, and I, I had a tweet about it. It's just pathetic, but they got, like, buying outside of an ice cream shop or whatever. He's like, duh, 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 duh. he's, like, on vacation. It's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. It was only Biden's 23rd straight day on vacation. <laughs> he works so hard, and, and he's got the the, 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 the goal to say, be, be, like, all sassy, like a little third grader, and be like, he said, like, oh, I don't want to say something that I shouldn't say because he was, like, going to say something bad about Trump for going to the cemetery or something. Biden's a complete clown, and he, he, why doesn't the media just ask Biden, this is the question that needs to be asked to Biden, why did you abandon the country? No, seriously, why did you abandon the country? You're supposed to be the president ever since it was announced that you're not running for re-election, now it's time to go on 40 vacations. I mean, he you literally plane hops from vacation to vacation to vacation, that's how bad it's gotten for Biden. But you can see Donald Trump uh, let's just get the gist of these videos because this is very important to hear this. Uh, Donald Trump ratioing this with with 12 to 14 different videos. The, the th This is the tweet that I just talked about in Trump's response in quote tweets. Kamala, your statement is nothing more than a political spin to help you look better in your presidential campaign against Donald Trump. These families support Trump. You have never walked a single day in our shoes. Our kids were murdered because of your administration. And you are part No, 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 it's joy and peace. I thought that, joy and peace, right? Partly to blame for that as well. What happened at Arlington was President Trump was invited by those families who have their soldiers buried at Arlington. They were invited there as a friend, as somebody who has taken the time numerous times on numerous occasions to hear our stories, to speak our kids' names. And then they gaslight us and say Trump just does it to do a photo op. Isn't that funny?
because they don't want to show up. They, they, they don't want to show up because they'd be bored. This is exactly how he's being. Remember Biden looking at his phone during a ceremony? He was like looking at his phone. The, the, they have the attention span of, of first graders. They would be bored, so they have to try and spin it when Trump actually shows up to honor these people. And of course, they're not going to do it because they know it's a horrible look for them because these soldiers died under their watch. And then Biden lied about it during the debate saying that no soldiers died under his watch. And then they had to try and correct it. So you see what's going on here. But but like, why do this? Why even talk about this when you don't show up? Trump does. And then you try and force Oh, he's just doing it for a photo op when he was asked to be there and he's the president. So they're going to take pictures of him. He's out in public. What do you think's going to happen? Th th this is ridiculous. And to help us get some accountability from your administration, because in over three years, we have gotten nothing but more and more lies, just like your statement, more and more. I mean, there's a, the, the, he's got like 12 different people here doing this. This is a really, really bad week for the Harris campaign. Horrific polling, odds plummeting, disaster interview. Now she, well, not only disaster interview, now she's hinting about backing out of the debate. I don't think it's going to happen, but imagine if she actually did back out. That would be a horrible. Like, and then she, of course, blames it on Trump, but it wouldn't even make sense. She's like, oh, because we're doing muted mics, I'm going to back out. There's no way she's going to back out because, again, it doesn't really make sense. It would make her look just horrible, but still they're making a big stink now. That's the second different thing. They go out of their way. First, it was it was this where, where, where she's like, oh, you know, Trump is doing this thing. The only reason he's doing it is for politics. I mean, you can see all of these different people come out and vouch for Trump and say that he was invited there and that it was it was his right to be there and, and that Harris and, and Biden haven't done anything. They haven't returned calls because they know it's a horrible look for them in general. And then you've got this literal corpse. You know, this reminds me of the the chocolate lady from from SpongeBob. It's just, it, I mean, it's like a spine. It, it's just a, that's what Biden is at this point. It's it's literally just a spine. It's a decrepit, elderly, two hundred year old spine. And, and let's see what Biden says. "Quote: I don't want to answer talking about Trump's visit to Arlington National Cemetery with Gold Star families. I don't want to answer because I might tell you what I think." So this dude. He, he's going to have that attitude after abandoning the country. Why doesn't the media just ask Biden, why did you abandon the country after you decided to step down? I thought you were still the president. You've been on a vacation for 17 straight days. You hightailed it out of the DNC the day. That's because the media is just, oh, it's so weak. Like, like seriously, what are you doing exactly? You're supposed to be the president. Nobody, I mean nobody, not even Democrats believe you're the president right now. Can you prove it? Can you say something? Can you do something? They won't ask him anything like that. He'll just go get his ice cream cone. He'll go get his ice cream and then try and just, 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 I mean, what even is this? I don't want to answer because I might tell you what I think. Well, I'm not even sure you could coherently answer anything at this point. Um, and again, see, I don't want to be, you know, mean because he's old and everything like that, but it's just so stupid. Like if you're going to come out here with attitude, you're, you're, I'm going to dish it right back at you. And it's, it's not going to be very nice just because, you know, you know, this whole thing. Oh, Trump is going there. It's a photo op. It's this, it's that when they get invited and they don't even return phone calls it is absolutely disgusting. So, I, I mean, this is a very desperate campaign. I, I don't understand the point of this, going after this. Again, this comes on the heels of Kamala Harris trying to get the mics unmuted to do her little boss bitch moment. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Remember that? And, of course, if that happens, I mean, Trump should... Uh, well, it's not going to happen if the mics are muted because, you know, they're not going to be able to interrupt each other. But if, if it did happen, again, I don't think that's going to happen ABC said, no, you guys agree to these rules. And then even after ABC says that, Harris still puts out the statement saying, oh, Trump is scared. I mean, that's Trump's campaign doing it. Trump is fine with the mics unmuted, but Trump's campaign, this was originally done to protect that guy. The guy that I'm pointing out, Biden. That's why they wanted the mics muted and Trump's campaign said, all right, fine, we'll do it. And now they want them unmuted because it's everything has to be their way. I can't debate on Fox News. We have to have the debate in June. I'm only doing two debates, not three. Now I'll debate you. But now because it's Kamala, the mics have to be unmuted. Now we have to sit down. We have to have notes. I have to be pampered. I have to get a, a, a pedicure during the debate. I mean, this is seriously what these, this is absurd. It, it, it's, there's 40 demands for a freaking debate. These are the people, they, they, they love democracy, so why won't she go out? There? I mean, this is just so ridiculous. 
They love democracy. Well, part of democracy is saying and telling the people what you're going to do when you're in office so we know whether or not we should vote for you and what to expect from you. And there's reports coming out with viable Democratic sources saying the strategy is for her to not talk about what she's going to do as president and just use vibes to get elected and then what's going to happen after she gets elected or it's going to be like surprise here's the policy no that's not how it works you need to say the policy but remember they're for democracy yet they're the ones that didn't have a prime well they did have a primary they rigged no 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 no. i'm sorry (laughs) i'm sorry they did have a primary it was so rigged that it forced rfk jr to run as an independent he literally had to switch parties because of how rigged the primary was but (laughs) they love democracy of course that i mean that that adds up it makes perfect sense the party that loves democracy rigged their own primary three straight election cycles. Oh, it heads up now. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, but you just see how ridiculous it is. I just, I have make fun of it just cause it's ridiculous, but, um, you can see more of this, uh, makes Kamala Harris look terrible. Gold star mom. We invited both president Trump and the administration talking about the Biden administration and we did not hear back from the White House. Oh, no, no, no. But we heard back from the White House when Trump went and it made them look terrible. And they tried to spin it like Trump just did it for a photo op. That's when we heard back from the White House. You see how that works? It is just absurd. And we do have Quinnipiac coming out with, I mean, these numbers are crazy among Hispanics. Biden 2020 polling numbers in August versus Harris in 2024. And you do have Trump gaining 20 points among Hispanics and that would just be the death uh you know for Harris and for this election if that actually happens Arizona Nevada and, and especially other states as well in terms of the Hispanics we know Florida how well uh you know the Latinos have swung to Trump there it's also happening possibly with Hispanics maybe also in New Mexico but I still don't think he's going to win that state but either way these are really good encouraging numbers especially for Quinnipiac although I will say I do think Quinnipiac changed their methodology a little bit to they're a little bit more accurate in terms of the way they're polling Trump in 2024 at least it seems in 2020 they were horrible so it's not surprising there's a correction but even you wouldn't think it'd be a correction of 20 points that goes to show you that Trump legitimately is polling significantly better in 2024 than in 2020 but either way guys that is going to do it for this video make sure you follow me on X link to that's always in the description